Welcome to Nugget 360 with Stephen Dana Groman. We are back in the Discover Magazine, November, December 2023, to a um, sort of ridiculous article. Well, I think it's Somewhat. ridiculous. <clears throat> Quite a bit, actually. How do we draw alien planets? Well, at least they admit it. Well, number one, there's no such thing as alien planets. For them to come up with them, they're going to have to draw them. Draw them out. And we're going to see how they admit that. Artist Lynette Cook's favorite exoplanet. How do you have a favorite exoplanet? <laughs> Exoplanet. Is the gas giant... Is that like favorite ice cream? uh, I suppose. Her favorite is the gas giant HD 222582b. This view shows the planet as seen from the surface of a hypothetical moon that undergoes periods of melting and refreezing as the temperature swings wildly with its host planet's proximity to the star. As we read just a few of the statements... And this is a science magazine? Pay attention to the double speak, double talk, just... Admissions. Yeah, that's a better way to put it. With every big exoplanet discovery comes a stunning artist rendition of a new world. Are these images realistic? Ask Allison Klesman. You know, one thing I want to point out is every time people see on the news or on some social media about an alien planet, another planet was found, an exoplanet was found, whatever it is, whatever they're looking at is an artist's rendition. Astronomical websites and press releases brim with pictures of swirling gas giants, watery terrestrial worlds, and strange planetary systems with exotic suns. But just how realistic are these artist concepts? Do they truly show newly discovered worlds, or are they simply fanciful pictures meant to draw you into reading about the latest addition to exoplanetary menagerie? Absolutely! That's quite a sentence, isn't it? These aren't just people slapping up a new exoplanet template every time that one is discovered. This is a real depiction if, that big word, we can have one, says prominent exoplanet artist Lynette Cook, who has been illustrating other worlds since 1995. Well, she's pretty much invested in this topic. That's quite a long time, isn't it? It's based on scientific fact as far as the facts go that we have. (laughs) Well, since they don't have any facts, they just have their concepts and ideas, that kind of explains that sentence, doesn't it? And math. And then beyond that, it's fact-based theory. Even when artistic license is involved, which it often is. It is at least within the boundaries of what seems plausible, she says. This is that, just that, your own world view. Yeah. Please don't get sucked into these yeah, pictures. Yeah, do not do it. If you like pictures that look like this, just travel out west. Go to Utah. <laughs> You'll see all the real stuff you can touch and you don't have to be in some other person's dream world. This artist's concept of the tidally locked gas giant WASP WASP 39B was developed in part from a transmission spectrum taken by the James Webb Space Telescope as the planet transited its star. The data show evidence of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. Other telescopes have found water vapor, sodium, and potassium. Astronomers believe the planet has clouds, but no Jupiter-like bands. Please pay attention to what that said. They're (laughs) getting data and they're interpreting it based on this data and they're coloring it up the way they want to. Beyond the towering clouds of a Saturnian evening, passing moons trundle back and forth. The spectacular rings seem to blend as the light passes through denser air toward the horizon. It's a science fiction book. Mm -hmm. And as we've mentioned before, many of these people... I was going to say, it all started that way. Or at least these people's instructors got their love and their desire for this kind of thing. Yeah, passion's a better word. From science fiction novels. I've been reading these just to see, and it's... I question their intelligence (laughs) if they are really so smart, and they can read these novels, and their whole worldview is based on this They're just big comic books. Neptune Size Glias... 436b is so close to its bright parent star that the planet's atmosphere is evaporating away, leaving a comet-like tail trailing behind the planet, as depicted in this artist rendering. Just more of the same. Even when artistic license is involved, it is still within the boundaries of what's plausible. With so many planets known and more to come, I bet, there are plenty of options, both exotic and familiar. So, although each illustration comes from the imagination of an artist, it is an 
informed, careful depiction of what could... How can that be? What could be reality that is designed to both educate and inspire. And that's the sad part. It's educating and inspire, and it's just... It inspires millions. Some artist imagination. They're telling you, it's double speak, double talk, whatever you want to call it. They're telling you in plain sight what they're doing, yet still luring you in. Pay attention. Psalm 19.1 is very famous, but we're going to read through 7. To the chief musician, a psalm of David. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament showeth his handiwork. Day unto day uttereth speech, and night unto night showeth knowledge. There is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard. Their line is gone out through all the earth, and their words to the end of the world. In them hath he set a tabernacle for the sun, which is as a bridegroom coming out of his chamber, and rejoiceth as a strong man to to run a race. His going forth is from the end of the heaven, and his circuit unto the ends of it, and there is nothing hid from the heat thereof. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. That uh, you can hang your hand on. People need to really ponder what that is saying. That word is truth. That word is truth. Is that your favorite verse? Yeah. John 17, 17. Absolutely. If you are looking for a meaningful Christmas present this year, we want to encourage you to purchase the Creation Seminar Series. There are 12 lessons and we're running a Christmas special, 30% off and free shipping. So that means for $120 total, you can get almost 30 hours worth of information to help you and your family know more about God's creation. Thank you.